coma. She had to have both her arms and both her legs amputated to save her life. So uh, this fundraiser is for her and her family and her siblings. And uh, it's like I said, long after these fundraisers are gone and the hype in the media is passed, uh, this family has to deal with this tragedy for a long, long, long time. So give yourselves a round of applause. Thank you so much. supporting us today. This is a great cause and it's great to see a turnout of this size. And enjoy yourselves and uh, I'm going to be very brief today because this is very new material. It's so new I have a cheat sheet here just in case I lose track of where I'm going. But I want to give you something unique today that has never been presented before. So I specifically wrote this material just for today's uh, event and I do have copies of it back at my table if you'd like to pick up a copy to take home and uh, look at that. I also want to embarrass my friend Melinda. It is her birthday today. Happy birthday, Melinda! <laughs> you didn't think I was going to forget. <laughs> to embarrass you, that is. Again, my name is David Manch, and I am the senior advisor for New England Paranormal. And I've been researching and investigating the paranormal now since, well, a long time. Just not go back that far because I'm embarrassed to say how far back it goes. What I'd like to talk to you today about is something that we kind of consider to be the Cinderella of paranormal investigation, and that's residual haunting. Because people think they're more interested in intelligent haunting than in human. Yeah, let's face it, it's more interesting because you don't have to use any of the stuff he likes to just do like a question and answer type thing and tell you about stories about uh, hauntings that he's experienced. So I'm going to go get Brian and come right back and give me about three minutes. Really appreciate it. Uh, Shane and the Jeff worked their ass off for this. You have too. Uh, yeah, I had to But, um, okay, I have asked a question because I have about 15 different questions that I do. So I used to ask the crowd uh, certain questions that, uh, so I don't bore the hell out of you with the different 
lectures that I do. Who here is a paranormal investigator? <laughs> Who here is wants to be a paranormal investigator? It's not. All right, here you go. Little kids here, so I'm not going to do the scary stuff. Um, now, I, you know, I actually did that once. Like, the little girl had a heart, almost a heart attack. So I'm not going to. I'm not going to give the same way to make sure. Um, sorry about that. What I usually do is the things you don't want to go something, uh, movement, their uses. So today I'm going to do a little bit of something that I usually do. They usually uh, get somebody mad. Um, I do, I have the do's and don'ts of ghost hunting equipment, the uses and the stupidity that are some of the pieces of equipment. Um, a lot of the equipment out there. It's basically useless for paranormal activity. I've done this now for this many, how many, 19 years as of May of this year. And I've gone on, this tonight will be my 667th investigation. So, I've done a lot of stuff. Uh, I've seen almost every single piece of evidence you can get, except for ectoplasm. Don't believe it exists. Um, but how, 667 investigations, I've seen some kind of slime somewhere. <laughs> but um, I've seen five full body apparitions. I've been to four exorcisms, countless demonic hauntings, and obviously countless residual, you know, intelligent hauntings. I've been to a couple of bolted guys too, those are fun. Um, but a lot of people I notice watch shows, they watch ghost hunters, and they and I like to apologize for some of the stuff that you see on, that, I, that you see when goes on this kind of bus. Um, because we brought in tools that weren't useful. Uh, and it was, you know, that was where she lived or resided, so people thought that they were looking at the energy from, from her. Same thing with this. And what we're going to do here today, we're going to create St. Elmo's Fire. You're going to get to see what it looks like uh, and see how it can be kind of scared. So if you're ever out somewhere and it's an electrical storm and you see a purplish light glow over anything, it's not a ghost. Don't approach it because you're about to get zapped and I'm going to show you why. Now we're also going to do some examples. Um, I'm going to show you a little bit of energy induction. First I'll show you this one here. Uh, this is a regular fluorescent light bulb. Okay? This has gases in it. Now this is a plasma sphere. Inside here is an electrode. It's the same kind of thing as that Tesla coil over there. It's a very powerful electrode, 20 and 30,000 volts in here. It's stimulating the gases in here, and the different types of gases produce different colors. Okay? What I'm going to show you is how there's an energy field outside of here. You really can't feel it until you get super close, but it's going to affect another energy. It's going to affect the energy inside this light bulb, and just by putting it near it, the light bulb starts to light. And what I'll do is I'll turn down the lights because the next part of this is going to be, um, you're going to want to see it in the, in the darker area. So you can see, everybody see the light bulb light up near this device here? Yeah. We're going to show this, uh, I'm going to see if I can get the Van de Graaff to light up the light bulb as well. But just putting it near, it shows that energy is affected. It's called energy by induction. And that's the way, if you have a cordless toothbrush or wireless toothbrush, that's how it charges. Same idea. One energy affects another energy, which affects another energy. First law of thermodynamics, energy cannot be created or destroyed, only change in form. That's exactly what you're witnessing here. You never can create energy. The power of pumpkins do not create energy, they transform energy. That's why they have transformers. But let me uh, give you a little bit of a rundown on this. What I'm going to try to do here, I just do say, <laughs> I'm going to power this up. This is a grounding plug here. This is going to ground the electricity to the from the dome, and you're going to start to see a bunch of flashes. Then I'll pull the ball back a little bit, and you'll start to see a purplish glowing corona. And I'll try to stay down so everybody can see it.
That's good. First of all, I want to thank you all. Uh, while I have your undivided attention, my name is Shannon Sylvia. Uh, my husband and I are your hosts tonight. Jeffrey Sylvia has been working hard back there. Um, amazing volunteers that have been all over the place tonight. I want to give a very big thank you. Those are the guys that deserve the applause because I've just been sitting there looking pretty. So, uh, my volunteers, you guys rock. Oops. Sorry. Uh, these two boys sitting at the table right now drove in the blizzard. Their flights from Jack Blue for, uh, were canceled. They popped in their car and came from Kentucky. Wow. Uh, so, they're here to volunteer. Jake is our intern. I have an intern. There's not much he won't do. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> no, it's nothing to do with me. <laughs> um, all right, so let's get on uh, to the show here. Just lost another volunteer. Um, I need I need items number one and two. We can always just get that. Okay, we'll just move on. All right. Um, what is it? I can't remember now. A basket. A basket? Yeah. Okay. Are they all like? Okay. All right. The first one. Sorry, we had a little bit of mislabeling issues, but the first donation um, that we were sent was a Yankee candle basket. Good stuff, ladies. Okay, everybody loves the Yankee candles. Uh, the winning ticket is number 90643. 90643. Melissa? Okay, where's Melissa? Come and get it. All right, we have another Yankee Candle basket. Uh, Yankee Candle, by the way, uh, David Mann took that up. Uh, he's the director of security over there. Uh, Yankee Candle came right from Deerfield. Uh, this other basket goes to number 90613. Carlos! 90613. I don't see him in the room. I don't see Carlos. Carlos? Carlos, come in once. Can someone scream, Carlo? Carlos! Carlos! Uh, no. Mr. Lopez. Um, he's not here, that goes in the trash. Well, let's go back in the basket or in the trash. Go back. I don't know. I don't, I don't do these. He's not here, just take another All right, out. number 90647. Nine. Smiling Mike. Smiling Mike. Yay. Stick of Come on, Let's go. Let's take a picture with you. My husband. I mother and family to go home. Thank okay. you. Okay. Okay. We'll stop the um, motion for a second. Oh, I'm going to let them come in. I, I, uh, this is only going to take a few minutes, right. folks. But we've been waiting for this part all night. But i got to get the ball rolling because right. I have to go home to Bella. This is, um, we're going to do a presentation to Bella Tucker's parents. And Shannon Sevy, come on over here, Shannon. I'm already crying. <laughs> you guys did so good. And, um, sorry because I'm not an emotional person. Um, we've never even met this girl, and I'm just so proud of all of you, and I'm proud of my help, I'm proud of my husband, um, I'm proud of Bella. You're not part of this microphone, huh? <laughs> <laughs> um, I've got a check for $7,320. Oh, wow. Oh, it's done. 
Um, this is oh, yeah. not all the money. We have not started the donations, all of the rest of the donations, um, the stuff that they're bidding on. So there's more. Um, but I'll, I'll call you tomorrow. <laughs> um, would you have the honor of filling out the check? Sure. You're going to tell me that big number again. <laughs> That's okay, Whoa. fine. Can we take this home? <laughs> this is yours yes, to take this is yours to take she's, home. She's going to like this. <laughs> there's more money standing right there in the jar. I mean, we've got more money coming we're in. We're presenting to them. Um, there's going to be more. We're going to put everything in actual total, and we'll post it up on Facebook for you all to know. I'm going to notify the newspapers, too, as well as what the actual total was. Um, there's going to be a lot more coming. You got to write it all out? You can't make a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> That's yours to keep. We've got lots of gifts for you. I have another basket to give you. I have it. Um, these guys have to get home to Bella, so we're going to let them go. Um, please drive safely, and there's more to come, so we'll be in touch. Thank you. Thank you. We're almost done anyways. Alright, we're all, yeah. It's going once, going twice. Hundred hours? Going, going once. once. Going twice. 120! 120. 120. 125. 125 from Dustin! No, 130! 130! I'm screaming now, isn't it? <laughs> going once. Come on, Dustin. $400 pit passes. Going twice. 135. 135! 140? Well, we go 70 each, we'll just go together. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to go. Okay. Where are we at right now? 145. 145. Going once. One fifty. One fifty. Hundred and fifty dollars for Bella. All right. <laughs> Going once. Come on. Four hundred. Dude, that's not, even, that's not even half of what the, the tickets are worth. Going twice. One fifty-five. One fifty-five. <laughs> Do we're gonna kill you? <laughs> huh? Do we're gonna kill you? Yeah. Who's on upstairs, Dustin? Yes. One sixty. One sixty. Don't you have something to go do? <laughs> Going once. Going twice. One sixty-five. One sixty-five. Going once. I knew he was going to want. I know. Going twice. One eighty. Oh. That was that. That wasn't even somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> that was your husband. Ah. Going once. Dustin, once. You don't like twice. Come on. No pressure. Hold on. Hold on. 185. 185. Wow. <laughs> 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 yeah, you lost a couple fans, dude. <laughs> 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 twice. Going twice. 190. 190. <laughs> Enjoy the races and tell Clint Boyer I said hello. I can't go any higher. Or I'll have to sleep outside. <laughs> <laughs> Are you good? Yeah. 190 sold for <laughs> Alright, I'll just 
tell them. I'll go out there and tell them. Check it out, everybody. With the online, with the auction, with online and cash in hand, just the auction, we raised twenty-one thirty-three. Just the auction. That goes on top of seven thousand. So, pushes over ten grand for Bella Tucker. That's you guys rock. You guys are awesome. Thank you, guys. Um, I want to thank Keith and Sandra, of course, for donating your time and doing an amazing talk, as always. Um, and, uh, I apologize again about the timing of the evening. We just had a lot of donations, guys, but um, we did amazing with the money, so if, if it was one or the other, I would have done the same thing. So thank you again. You're very welcome. Um, you're welcome to hang out until midnight after this uh, it's going to end. Uh, there are some groups of walk around those hunting scattered about. You're free to do whatever you want, but we all got to go home at midnight. So. <laughs> Thank you all for coming. Thanks. Uh, good evening, everybody. We're the last presentation of the evening. My name is Keith Johnson. This is my lovely wife, Sandra Johnson. Hello there. <laughs> and we're going to be speaking about demonology, basic demonology. A lot of you I know are paranormal investigators. I guess you all are this evening. But uh, in dealing with this, there is always a chance that if you haven't run across something which is inhuman or demonic, there's a chance you will sooner or later. So it's best to be prepared and knowledge is power. Now, uh, before we get underway, I just uh, really like to thank Shannon and Jeff, and God bless you both for the wonderful thing you've done tonight. It's, uh, beyond words to describe what you've done, voice phenomena. Because we did hear this, it's very rare, but sometimes when you're performing a cleansing of a house, you will hear the spirit leave. You will hear it scream as a sign of its leaving. That was a female scream, a female sounding scream. So, um, now this is, this is a house. We were in um, a home in Feeding Hills, Mass. While we are doing praying, we did get, this is an EVP. We did get an EVP saying, stop praying right now. Obviously didn't like what we were doing. Clear for us so we can hear you. 